I'm talking to Doreen about her NetBeans and Java One experiences for the forthcoming Java One. So tell us about your session at Java One, Doreen. Well, our session is going to be about Minecraft, partly, and also about NetBeans, and how we can engage kids to remix code. Because it's important to get them to think about taking stuff and then mixing it with other stuff to make stuff happen. And I gather you're also doing a free session on the weekend before Java One, which is uh, for anyone who's in San Francisco, whether they're going to the conference or not. Yes. We're sort of doing a local community event in partnership with Mozilla, uh, where we sort of host parties um, around the world, globally. This is just the San Francisco one. Um, and again, it's going to be about sort of helping kids um, understand the power of remixing, the power of hacking somebody else's code, that is permissible, yeah, and um, making things happen because it could be the spark that makes them want to look deeper and under the hood. Um, and this is um, usually and always free um, mm. events that, that, that we house because it's really important to inspire young minds uh, to consider liking what we like. You, you use the word party, and I gather it sounds like it's going to be a lot of fun. What's the best way to make coding fun and appealing to newcomers, especially kids? I think it's basically you have to find out what the kids are into. Um, there's no point saying, me, the adult, I love what the uh, ZX80, and I'm going to share the ZX80, because that doesn't have any meaning to the kids. The, the current ZX80 is Minecraft. It's the one thing that the kids will spend hours and hours and hours on the, on the damn thing in some sense. Um, and mum and dad doesn't have to ask them to, to play with it. If anything, we have to get them off it. Um, and so a lot of the sort of um, coder families or, or people in, in engineering are sort of starting to realise that actually Minecraft is the perfect tool to, um, to look under the hood because every object in Minecraft is packed with Java um, and through using NetBeans IDE we're then able to, to start introducing them to the concept that they have agency. They can turn a, a simple arrow into one that obliterates half the planet um, and they think that that's really cool. Sounds really good. This uh, gather is your first trip to Java One. What are you most looking forward to about it? Um, well, I'm a community people person, uh, and so I'm sort of really excited to be able to meet people that are within the Java community um, and sort of talk to them, see what they think, what tools they like best to teach Java. I think Java is a hugely important language, um, partly because of Minecraft, uh, because that's what the kids want. So. Um, and, but also, you know, you can put it on the Raspberry Pi now uh, through NetBeans and various other things. And so it's going to become more and more important to a very young element of our population. Uh, we did a, a really big maker party in Newcastle, which is in uh, the north of England. And we lost count at 200 children going through uh, the Minecraft exercise. The youngest was five and a half and he came back three times and I was thinking like, Christ, you're just five and a half, um, you know, and that was amazing. You know, natural engineer, why not start them at five and a half? Are there any sessions you're particularly keen to attend at Java One, or are you going to the NetBeans Day before Java One? Definitely the NetBeans Day. Um, it's um, it's going to be, again, sort of really exciting to meet this whole new group of people. Um, and um, I'm a practical person. I like sort of maker stuff. So one of the things that, that I'm going to go to is there's a talk on farming um, and using Java at the same time. And there's also the word Lego in there. So that, that's irresistible, you know, the, anything to do with Lego. So that means Lego and Java are all in the same talk. Absolutely. I mean, you know, what more do you well, want? Dalek, maybe? Yes. <laughs> So what do you like most about NetBeans as an IDE for teaching coding? I think it's, um, it's the team that's behind it. Um, and they're also sort of very progressive. They're looking at the latest tools like the Raspberry Pi and sort of thinking, how can we use this new technology and include it? Because we know the kids are going to be eventually using the Raspberry Pi, um, especially uh, with the Cano Pi team that is sort of bringing out um, some really good content for, uh, for the kids to go through. 
um, and it, it's sort of um, it's very user friendly. It's easy to install, um, and the one thing that I really like is the fact that it's progressive. Um, so you can start with a very sort of simple version of the IDE, and then you can go all the way up to a really sort of high packed one. Um, that takes you all the different sort of languages progressively getting more and more complex. So if people want to contact you about uh, the, the, the weekend event or your talk or, or Minecraft in general, what, how can they get hold of you? The best way is just to email me. I always respond. Um, I am evangelical about sort of responding to people that sort of send me emails. Even if it's, I can't help you, but I will always point you in a direction that could help. Um, so doreen.flies at gmail.com um, you just have to stick that in Google as well and I'm sort of kind of plastered all over the internet uh, so easy to find and uh, we're looking forward to your talk what night is it at Java? it is uh, on the I forgot Monday night <laughs> Monday night so, so yes it's on Monday night okay I'm looking forward to it alright great thank you